Hey guys, here's a quick little tutorial. I'm so in love with this image, but this wood up here is just driving me nuts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the rectangular marquee tool. It's also the M if key on your keyboard. Um, and I'm going to click at the bottom, I'm sorry, the top left corner and drag um, and make a rectangle box. Now I'm gonna press Command C, which is going to copy. Command V, which is going to paste. As you can see, we have a new layer. You don't need to start out with a, a new layer when you're doing this, because we're gonna create one in the process. Now I'm gonna press Command T, and this is to transform it so that I can move it around. And now I'm just gonna drag it up. It's a little like crooked, so I'm just going to kind of manipulate that a little bit. And now I'm gonna just grow it a little taller and I'm gonna double click. And as you can see, you can kind of see the seam here. So what I wanna do is put a mask on that layer. I'm gonna click that mask button and it's gonna create a mask on the layer. I wanna make sure that's highlighted by clicking on it. Usually it'll already highlight it, but you know just so you, for learning purposes. Now I'm gonna press the B for brush, um, and I'm going to press X to make sure that my black is the foreground color and white is the background color. And this is going to erase the mask, okay? So now if I were to, you can see that it's erasing and you can see you know, the wood again. And so I'm going to size that brush. I'm going to make sure it's really soft. And I'm just going to erase the line right here. And as you can see before and after. So very, very lightly right here. There we go. And now I'm going to merge all of the layers up by pressing Shift, Option, Command, and E. Um, and I'm going to use my patch tool and I'm gonna circle the parts that look just a little funky. The patch tool is fabulous for recreating texture. That's why I use the patch tool so often. Um, so I am just kind of switching out where it looks a little funky here. And now, as you can see, we have an image that just looks a lot better to me with the molding up top. And let's look at before and after. I think that's a lot better, don't you? Alrighty. I will see you guys next time.